good Sunday morning to you all. It's Sunday, as I said, on a very, very warm day with the brightest blue sky you've ever seen, not a cloud up there, and we're expecting a huge high temperature of about 39 degrees, now that's Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I should have looked it up, shouldn't I? But it's very hot today, or well, it will be, and so I'm in cave mode. All my blinds are closed, my house is all cool and dark. And hopefully tomorrow the weather report is correct, it's going to cool down a bit, so that'll be nice. This might be the last time that summer's trying to remind us what it's like to be boiling hot. Um, we'll see. I mean, already the leaves are starting to turn on some of my trees, so they know that it should be autumn. Um, yeah, and so here we are looking at who else but Lottie. I, um, because it was such a hot day, I decided to dress her in something very light and pretty for Sunday. So she's wearing this gorgeous, gorgeous dress, which is in a very fine cotton. The background is white, and then it's got blue outlines of flowers in all different shades of blue, light and dark. And um, it's got little three rows of pin tucks across the bottom, and it's got some beautiful smocking across the top. And then little, some, um, you guys call it eyelet lace, but we call it Broderie Anglaise lace, trim around the sleeves, which, uh, the dress is sleeveless, so it's like angel sleeves. And then I've tried to show the collar as best I can, because it's just a white Peter Pan collar, and there's the most beautiful pale blue embroidery of just delicate flowers on, on each collar. So I just tried to get Lottie to turn her head so we could see that. And in her hair she's got a pale blue headband. And then the piece de resistance on her feet. She has some white socks with lace. And then beautiful pale blue leather shoes. They're Mary Jane's, but across the strap around her ankle there's big pale blue bow, satin bow on both the shoes and I think they're gorgeous. So Excuse me, I had to sacrifice bare feet for cute shoes. Bit of a toss up for me because I do love to use the shoes. So that's what she's wearing. And she's got matching bloomers as well. Do you want to see the bloomers? I'll just show you a little peek at bloomers. There they are. Can you see them? There's her. Oh no, you can't. Can you? There we go. There's her bloomers. And there's a little, um, the dress is lined in some white lawn. So that's beautiful. I will tidy her up again. There you are, my darling. So we're on the stove again, and the reason I use a quilt when we're on the stove is so that you can't actually tell that we're on the stove, because if I just used a blanket, you would certainly be able to see the outline of the structure underneath. And I want to continue the illusion that we are somewhere very comfortable, but this light really is very good for filming and it is bright outside, but the rest of my house is very dark and cool. Hmm. Now, let me see. Oh, yes, 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 I know what I wanted to say. Two extra things, and one of them is that I just watched a video by um, my friend Lulu and her husband, Mr. B, and I, she probably doesn't, I mean, she doesn't need me to give her a shout-out because she's a big channel and I'm just a small fish. But I would like to just suggest that you go over to her channel. Her channel name is Strawberry Moon Reborns. And the, the videos that they make are just completely full of love. They're just wonderful. They're good fun and her babies are adorable and she has the most stunning clothes for them. And she does a beautiful story every Sunday, or most Sundays, with a couple of her more grown-up dolls and let me tell you she's got well she's actually got 19 dolls and 18 are in in her home at the moment one's gadding about getting some repairs done I think some touch-ups so altogether she's got 19 dollars dolls not dollars she's probably got more than that but um, yeah she's got 19 dolls and they're gorgeous and her husband Mr B is lots of fun and they now make their videos together Lulu used to do them on her own, but then we all cajoled Mr. B into joining her, which is so much fun. He even sang a, a, a song, 
um, on this video. So if you don't know her, you probably all do, but if you don't, go across and visit Lulu and Mr B, they're great fun. And uh, you will see what I see when you watch their videos. It's just so much love and fun and and happiness in, on their videos. Um, sometimes, I mean, things aren't always happy, but they see the good side of things and it's very lovely to go and watch their videos. So that was something else I wanted to tell you about. And the last thing I wanted to, to tell you was really more of a show and tell, and that is this very special doll that I don't know, some of you may recognise and some of you may not. Let me just see if I can hold her up. Here she is. She's only got one shoe on because I want to show you a special feature of the bottom of her foot. So I'll just sit her down with, with Lottie while I talk about her. Now she is made completely of wood and springs, but she her actual body is wood and she's got a lot of joints. She's jointed at the ankles, the knees, the wrists, the elbows and her head moves. So that is pretty amazing, isn't it? You'll be more amazed when I tell you that she was made between about 1913 and 1918 at the latest. So she's officially um, an antique, isn't she? Because that makes her 100 years old. Her joints are a bit creaky now, but what can you expect if you're that old? She's doing quite well considering, isn't she? Now she's got a beautiful painted face, carved and painted face. Let me show you. I'll bring her up close. And she is made by... Now can you see that? You see the beauty in that face? To me that is just heaven. Very baby little face. Beautiful eyes. Slightly open mouth. She's all original. Her painting hasn't been touched up. This is how she was made. The clothes are not original. Let me sit her back while I tell you some more about her. She was made um, in a factory called Schoen Hut in America. Uh, it was owned by a man called Henry Schoen Hut, and he made these beautiful wooden dolls. He wanted to make dolls that didn't break, like the bisque ones broke. And he made, let me tell you, there are so many different faces and sizes and styles on these dolls. They're just incredible. She's probably, this one's probably about, I don't know, 10 inches maybe? She's a little dot and she's a baby one. She's from their infant range and I love her very much. I've got a few of these dolls. I've got, some of them have carved hair which is just gorgeous. Some even with hand carved hair. I'm not sure if mine are hand carved or if they're um, a mould of somehow they moulded timber, I don't know how they did that. But anyway, so I've got hand carved one, ones with hand carved, well, sorry, I'll go back and say that properly. I've got a couple with carved hair, and I've got a couple with wigs, and I've got big ones, and I've got another baby that was called the nature baby, because it had gently bent arms, but no joints at the elbows and gently bent legs, so it was a bit different. It was called the Nature Baby. Baby, Similar little face. So, let me see what else. Oh, let me show you the bottom of the foot. This is a very interesting feature. The, their feet came with these two holes in the bottom of them because you could buy stands for the dolls and you put the doll on the stand and they could even just stand on one foot and you could make all sorts of interesting poses. You could do, um, what's that called when the, is it arabesque? When a ballerina puts one leg out the back and curves her arms up, all that sort of thing. You could do any pose you wanted with these dolls. So they all have those two holes in the bottom of their feet. And you could put both feet on the stand or just one. I think, I think the stand, I think you could put both. I've never seen an original, I've seen copies. And another very interesting thing about this little girl, let me show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, let me just move her leg. Uh, she's got, let's see if we can, can you see just there in front of my thumb, just that little thing there, let me see if it's a better way to show you, is a little tiny nail, the, the head's been cut off I'd say, and do you know what that nail was for? They put that there specially. I think there maybe used to be one on the outside of this leg because there's a little black spot there. 
but no nail. So it looks like that's been cut off, that one. Um, so these nails were on the very early dolls because they were to hold up her stockings. Isn't that amazing? So they had, these dolls came dressed, some of them very simply dressed, some of them more elegantly dressed, but most of them had a thing they wore called a union suit, which was like a knitted, like a, what you guys call a onesie and I would call a bodysuit. It's sleeveless and it's a bit like what we had call a singlet, but it, it was long and, and covered the top of the legs and had little legs, leg parts in it, but it was like singlet material. Um, so that's what they came in, and some of them had like lot, you know, beautiful dresses and all sorts of things, depending on what what age they represented. But their faces, honestly, you wouldn't believe the range of beautiful faces that there were. All sorts, from character faces to pretty faces to dolls with teeth, which I'm not so keen on. They're always a bit spooky, those ones with a row of top, you know, four top teeth. Never quite fit right, I suppose, because they have to be flat. Although with these wooden ones, they could have been had a curve in them. But anyway, so, yeah, all sorts of things. And some of them were very similar to the um, bisque German dolls being made at the time in Europe. So, Mr. Schoenhut, you know, and actually what I've noticed is that the faces of the dolls were like, were as varied as you get real faces on children. Just amazing how they did that, really amazing. So he started the company in 1911 and it continued from, continued from there. And you can see, I mean, she's in pretty good condition considering, isn't she? She's got some marks on her, but I'm sure she's been played with. But when you think about how old she is, and all her different joints and that they still work, although a bit creakily. I think it's a very amazing kind of doll. The um, Those little metal, like nail sticking out things on the insides or and outsides of her legs um, were discontinued obviously after a while because just that's very, very sharp, that nail there. And that would have hurt little children. So they swapped to stock stockings that had ties at the top to tie them on. But that shows the age of the fashion that the dolls were wearing, doesn't it? If you had little stockings that came up to your above your knees and you had to tie them on. And now the, the outfit she's wearing is obviously not original. It's something I bought years ago. It's very, very fine knit. It's probably one ply, maybe two ply wool. It is wool and she's got a little dress underneath that's cream and trimmed in, and that, there's a pattern on that dress. Let's see if I bring her up closer. This is the cheat's way of doing zoom, isn't it? Bring the doll closer to the camera instead of having to zoom. Let me see what you can see there. You see there's a pattern on that little dress? It's beautiful. It's knitted in the same ply, tiny, tiny wool. I love that so much. And so the dress underneath is a little cream dress, and it's trimmed in the... It's a peachy kind of pink on the edge and she's wearing over that a little coat that is three quarter sleeves on her because it's probably was made for a smaller baby so the sleeves would be long but I just loved it so much the bonnet doesn't match it's just a bonnet that I added that I had it's not quite big enough for her but it's cream with a pink trim so it's cute I'll take it off anyway and show you what her little head looks like so she's got sort of painted hair show you. It is painted, but it's not individually, not, not individual hairs painted on. It's kind of a blondy colour. And it's very sweet. See that? Oh, I'll show you the, the um, sticker on the back of her neck. This helps to date her, that kind of sticker. They did try and do, on, because on her, on her back she has what you call an incised um, mark which is, let me see if I can show you that, it's pressed into her back. It's very hard to see. Let me just see if I can catch the light with that. Can you see that? You probably can't read it, I can't either, but you can see that there's writing across her back. And that dates her to very early. And when they tried to put um, an incised mark on the back of the neck, it wasn't very successful. I guess the neck's a bit small. So they made a, a sticker that was the same as what the incised mark said, but was easier to apply. So 
so that's what she's got on the back of her neck. So she's a very early, early little girl with a lot of creaks and groans, but beautiful anyway, absolutely beautiful. If you love baby dolls, then I'm sure you would love this face. It's very sweet. So I'm one of my very early girls. And um, I might say that's all for today. Yes, I have a lot to get done today. It is very hot, so I've already put a load of washing out on the line, so that won't take long to dry, which is just lovely when it's out there. Let me just focus back on this little girl. Oh, I can see something on her arm, and it shouldn't be there. She doesn't have a freckle. It's a speck of something. Sorry about that, Lottie, darling. So oh, there she is. There's my Lottie in her beauty. Oh, I didn't tell you what, what, where the dress comes from. It's from M & Co., which is in England, and it was sent to me maybe a year or, or more ago from our friend Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies. Isn't that just, to me that is like a perfect dress. I love blue on girls, and this is just light and not too over the top, just right for getting dressed up on a Sunday. I hope you can see her shoes properly and her little legs. I'll move that up. We do that with it, Lottie, then people might be able to see your shoe a bit better. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. The, there's a big lace on these socks, but I love these socks. They're cute. So there we have it, everybody. A very hot Sunday and a busy Sunday with lots to get done. So I'll say goodbye for now, and I'll see you soon. So in the meantime, please take care and be kind to each other. Bye, everyone.